Hi, I'm Catherine Anderson, APPI Master Trainer and Physiotherapist. I'm here today on behalf of Unite Health because I want to show you some of the tips and tricks that I use when I'm doing swan dive from the chair. So we have Molly here who's going to be our model and the thing I really love about swan dive from the chair is it gives us the opportunity to really get lovely spinal extension but at the same time work on the stability of the head, neck and shoulders. Now this becomes really important for people who say work at a desk or might have postural pain or headaches but it also works really well just to try and get the core working into extension as well. Now a little additional part of this exercise is if you have someone who's doing the Kenzie exercises for a disc problem or a disc bulge, this is a really nice way to use your equipment to create a really nice environment in which to do those on the back of all your APPI principles. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get you Molly to start to set yourself up. Now you'll see here with the chair that I've got the a little block underneath the hands there just so that Molly's body is nice and horizontal to begin with. I've got her on the chair with about her pelvis in, front, in line with the front of the chair and then in addition to that I've got her on two black springs, the pedal connected and they're on the bottom pegs. So if you have someone first learning this exercise, you can get them set up on a slightly higher spring so they can work on the quality of the extension rather than the effort of controlling the extension through range. And then as they get better at the exercise, you can bring the spring weighting down just to challenge them a little bit more. Now, once we find the starting position, what we're going to do is make sure you have your five key elements really well engaged. So you wanna make sure the ribs are lifted very slightly. We don't wanna be hanging down into the lumbar spine, so a little engagement of the core. And then from there, we wanna make sure that the shoulder blades are really flush with the chest wall. The cue I use for this is just to lift the breastbone slightly or widen the scapula. From there, nice, long, straight head and neck position so that the head is in line with the shoulders. In a moment, Molly, I'm going to get you to take a breath in to prepare. And then as you breathe out, I'm going to get you to imagine your swan dive level one exercise where you lift up through your neck and then you're trying to get nice thoracic extension there. Once you've taken up all the room of thoracic extension, you can start to lift the pedals and you're going to come right up into a full cobra, but you've got to bring your rib cage with you to come right up to the top. You'll hold there and then you'll press all the way down, coming back the way you came, one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful, inhale at the bottom, check your center. Exhale, hover the pedals up, bring your swan dive in, project your breastbone forward, lift up through your rib cage and find that nice extension in your lumbar spine. And press back down again. Now, common clinical issues that we find is the lack of maintenance of the scapular position. So you want to really explain that the arms stay strong and the arms become the wedge to lift their body rather than the scapulas moving. So keep that nice congruency. The other big problem you see in these kind of movements, and this is one of the reasons why a lot of people find that this is uncomfortable in their backs, is that they'll let themselves drop into thoracolumbar extension really early. So it's really that upper part of the core that's really important to engage to make sure that comes with the lift in order to produce that lower lumbar extension and then you can come back down again. Now it's really worth saying that with this movement you've got to ensure that the person's spine is suitable for extension. So if you have someone who has a spondylolisthesis or any other extension dysfunctions like a pars defect this wouldn't be the exercise that you'd choose. But for the rest of us, it works really nicely for that postural strength and also for lumbar extension range as well. I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.